Hi everyone, my name is Liz I Read, and welcome to another video. So this video is review for 703, How I Lost More Than a Quarter Ton and Gained a Life. This was written by Nancy Mackin. So this book is a nonfiction. Clearly, probably you can tell from the title. The title is pretty self-explanatory. Um, I listened to this on audiobook and I really enjoy listening to nonfiction on audiobook so it worked really well for me and I'm starting to learn that I really really enjoy memoirs and this is essentially what it is. We follow Nancy. It's her life story basically and she starts from the very beginning when she was a kid, how she grew up and all the way um, up until after she loses all this weight. Nancy's life was really interesting especially as a young kid she's older than I am so she, I think she like grew up in the 70s she comes from a big Catholic family she grew up in Seattle and when she was quite young still her and her entire family moved all the way to Quebec in order to join kind of like a Catholic cult a little bit I don't really want to call it a cult but kind of a sub-denomination of Catholic and she lived on this kind of compound and she didn't see her family a lot and she was living under strict orders and doing a lot of chores and things like that she wasn't ever really physically abused at least that's not what she said but there was a lot of hurt and trauma for her because she didn't know what was going on and she was never seeing her family so that was one of the more surprising things to learn about um, her life story. So I did find that segment really interesting. They moved on, they moved somewhere else in the States. They moved back to the United States and there was a while where her father was away and some like family issues that happened after the fallout of moving to Quebec. She talks about that. She talks about a little bit of her eating and sh she got pregnant really young. I think she was 16 and so she married really young um, and she talks about raising her child and starting a new family and then after several years she did get divorced from her husband. Um, they were together for quite a long time, I think like eight years or something, but they did end up getting divorced and she talks about kind of the ups and downs of her life. There's a time where she struggled with alcoholism and obviously about binge eating. She got to the point where she couldn't really take care of herself anymore. She was working at kind of like a home for disabled people. She was kind of the person who did the cooking and cleaning and things like that and um, that's when things really changed for her. When she got extremely overweight, she eventually does have to go to a home where she had to go on financial assistance in order to support herself because she could no longer work because of her weight. The story was really interesting. I personally really enjoyed it. Clear triggers for all the things that I've already talked about. The thing that was most interesting about this story was she didn't really focus talking about food in like real any way like she does but she doesn't like tell crazy stories of the habits that she developed she would just kind of talk about it in passing so she never said like this is the type of meals I would have or this is how much I gorged myself she would just talk about I overeat to deal with the traumas that I had in my past and I kind of I really appreciated that I liked how it was less about what she was doing in order to get to the place that she got but more about her life and the struggles that she had emotionally and things like that. By the time that she actually got to the weight that she did, it was almost super surprising which is almost more realistic because I think people never plan for that to happen and it just kind of one day you wake up and realize oh, this is what I've done to myself. So I found it really interesting. And the thing that was also most surprising is she never really talked about what she did in order to lose the weight. She didn't talk about any diets or anything like that. And basically the outcome of the story or the solution that she had was she ended up finding some hope for herself. She got a computer and she was communicating with people online and that's how she found more purpose for herself and ultimately that was the problem is she wasn't happy with her life. She wasn't happy with the situation that she was in um, and so she got worse and worse and worse and then one day she started developing relationships 
and that's what really helped her get out of that hole. She did talk about things like certain situations that happened, like she had to go to the hospital and she did talk about what that was like and how people had to help her and she did talk about the challenges of being that size and um, it was eye-opening for me. I wasn't, I didn't realize how challenging it could be and yeah it was definitely a most interesting story and definitely inspiring and I think the thing I was most inspired by was not even about the weight loss but her getting over mental challenges because I think all of us struggle in some way we always have some kind of mental barrier um, it doesn't even have to be about food or just anything and she really talked about how how she dug herself out mentally it wasn't even about food it was about other things and I really appreciate that you can see her story on YouTube if you just type in her name. There's some like old like Oprah <laughs> segments and I enjoyed watching those. I don't think she has any other books out but I really enjoyed this memoir. It's not nearly as highly rated but I really enjoyed it. She's a really unique character because she's really funny and sarcastic and you can tell that she herself is like an interesting person or an interesting character. Um, so I did really enjoy listening to her story. So I do recommend it. I liked also that it didn't glorify anything. It didn't make fun of anyone or she didn't, she doesn't lord anything over a group of people or people who struggle with this. If anything, she is a really good representation of what it's like to be that size. A good representation also an encourager of those who maybe would want to um, transform their lives. I recommend it if this sounds like something you'd be interested in and a story you want to listen to that maybe wouldn't be too triggering for you because she doesn't talk about diets at all at all. She doesn't even really talk about exercising. She, I don't remember her ever talking about going to the gym or anything. I think mostly her weight loss was just completely just changing the way she ate from eating way too much just to just eating normally. I think that's all she really did and she was able to lose all this weight which was incredible. Oh and she just talked about going on surgery, not getting her tummy tucked but um, just to remove all the excess skin. So she had to go through some major surgeries in order to do that. I pretty much like just summarized <laughs> what the, the book to you. I don't know how else to review a nonfiction, especially a memoir. But I do recommend it. Like it doesn't have high ratings on Goodreads and I don't know why. I did find it really interesting but I think people usually are looking for like help guides in order to lose weight and this is not what that is. This is just a memoir. This is someone's life journey and that's the kind of weight loss stuff I like listening to. I find that the most interesting um, or inspiring. So I do recommend it especially if you want to have a different take or a different look at the life of someone who struggles this way. It definitely makes you a lot more sympathetic. It's sometimes like no one's fault and if anything it's more a mental health problem than anything else and weight loss is super hard like it's not easy to do so the fact that she did it was incredible so in the end i've decided to give this book a five star rating which is a lot higher <laughs> i th i think i need to rethink my nonfiction rating which is why i'm giving it a five star i think with nonfiction, there's never going to be a nonfiction that I'm like, yeah, that is a five stars. That was amazing, especially when I compare it to fiction. And so if I know logically no book is ever, no nonfiction is ever going to be that way, then if I really enjoy a story that's nonfiction or I really enjoy a book that's nonfiction, then I need to just rate it five stars. So in this case, I really enjoyed myself. I was fully engaged the entire time. I maybe thought about DNFing at once, but it wasn't that I wasn't enjoying it. I just wasn't sure if I wanted to keep going, but then I listened to a little bit more and it just brought me back. My attention was just drawn back into the story. And I think what I'm learning is just, I really like learning about people's lives. I find it really interesting. So in the end, I've decided to give this book a five star rating. So that is it. I would love to know if you've read this book. If you have, I would love you to comment down below. If you have any other memoirs that you can suggest to me or memoirs in this kind of nature like weight loss stories 
please comment down below. I would love to know more recommendations if you can provide them for me. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you have not done so. You can follow me on Goodreads, Twitter, and Instagram. And you know what, guys? I want you to keep reading. Bye.